Good evening. 7 News has obtained chilling video of the moment five CFS crews became trapped by a wall of flames while fighting the deadly Pinery Fire. The pictures give a terrifying insight into the life and death scenarios our firefighters faced on that hellish day. Wednesday, November 25. It's just after 2 o'clock and five CFS crews are heading straight into an almighty firestorm. Their task, to protect properties in the tiny township of Woolsheds. But they never made it. A wind change turned the massive fire flank into the fire front and they were directly in its path. Suddenly, day becomes night and out of the darkness emerges the evil face of the inferno. We're going to go in a burn over. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Panic set in and the appliance in front reverses. For three agonising minutes, all they can do is sit and wait. The captain makes a mayday call, fearing for two crewmen who'd left the truck to turn on water pumps. I am still in awe that they got out of that without any injuries. I haven't seen fire behaviour like that in my career. What made this fire so dangerous was the sheer speed at which it travelled, fanned by 90 kilometre an hour winds and fuelled by dried crops. Ultimately though, that's what saved those firefighters' lives. The fire passes pretty quickly because it's in stubble. Um, that would not have been the case if that uh, crew found themselves in a forest fire or a scrub fire. The CFS says the incident serves as a warning to landowners to leave early. Mark Mooney, 7 News. A senior firefighter has described a terrifying moment he and his crews became trapped in the Pinery firestorm. He's also revealed that within minutes of their life and death encounter, they were back on the job. The Pinery Inferno through the eyes of those who fought it. We're going to go in a burn over. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. The Adelaide Hills strike team, including four appliances and a command vehicle, was caught out by a sudden wind change. Burn over, Scotty, burn over. Burn over, Scotty. That was the most intense fire of that type we've ever experienced. Andy Warner was leading the way in the command vehicle. Which, unlike the trucks, doesn't have the same protection systems. So our strategy was to shelter, so we sheltered behind one of the trucks during the burnover. Incredibly, no one was badly hurt. Safe Work SA has been called in to investigate the incident, which has also prompted the CFS to review the way it prepares firefighters for a dreaded burnover. It has raised some issues for us about refreshing just what we do with our burnover training and there are some lessons to be learnt. It's also reviewing the amount of plastic used on appliances. We had some, some uh, plastic components melt and so forth, things that we're looking into so that that doesn't happen again. Remarkably, despite their brush with death, they didn't give up the firefight. To the credit of the crew, we continued to work through um, to about 8.30 that night. Saving countless properties and lives, but he insists they're not heroes. That's probably a, a, might be a term that's thrown around. I don't think there's many of us as individuals who see ourselves like that. No doubt many others do. Mark Mooney, 7 News. A local company has invented a world first system which it claims could save lives in a bushfire. It protects firefighters trapped in their vehicles during a burnover, but it could also be used to save homes and infrastructure. This is a quick response vehicle used during prescribed burns and bushfires. The Environment Department has 50 of them, but this is one of a kind. In the event of a burnover, where a crew becomes overrun by flames, the system releases a fire retardant gel. By the time they pull the pin and activate the button, um, it's the, the whole car is covered within about 30 seconds. It's the brainchild of Adelaide company Bushfire Defence. We designed the system to help save lives, improve the situation for the firefighters that are involved in a burnover situation. Here it's put to the blowtorch test. The torch is giving out around 2,000 degrees. A piece of wood burns in seconds, but when applied to the gel-covered window... The uh, system allows the uh, temperature of the inside of the cabin to remain stable. While fire trucks have sprinkler systems for burnover protection, smaller vehicles can't carry enough water. We've been trialling it now for two years um, and um, it's, it's showing a lot of promise for us. While it's currently being trialled on vehicles, there's scope for similar systems to be used on homes, 
businesses, even mobile phone towers, which are often knocked out in a bushfire. We'll would definitely protect the structure and make sure that the communications can stay live during fires. Mark Mooney, 7 News.